In this video, I'm going to show you how to filter horizontally in Google Sheets. So usually when people use the filter function, they're filtering vertical, which means that they're filtering out rows. But you can also use it to filter horizontally where you filter out columns. So in this first example, here in rows one and two, we have data that shows the date and the number of visitors that a certain business got on that date. And what we're going to do is we're going to filter this data horizontally and we're going to only show the dates where there were more than 100 visitors. So I'm going to do this by clicking on cell C4 and then I'm going to type equals filter parentheses. Now I'm going to type my source range, which are rows one and two, but starting at column C. So my source range that contains the data that I want to filter is in the range C1 through 2. So I'm going to type C1 colon 2. Now I'm going to type a comma, and this is where I enter the condition. And the condition is going to be where row 2 is greater than 100. But again, we're starting at column C. So I'm going to type C2 colon 2, then a greater than symbol, and then the number 100. And now I'm going to press enter. So now we've filtered horizontally and we're only displaying the dates where the business had more than 100 visitors. And we were able to filter horizontally because we specified rows in our ranges rather than columns. If we had specified columns, our range would not end in a number, but it would end in a letter. So we're telling Google Sheets to filter rows one and two where row two is greater than 100. Now, if I had wanted to refer to an entire row, I would not need to include the letter C before my ranges. And this is what it actually looks like when you're just referring to entire rows. But the reason that I included the letter C is that I do not want my headers to end up in my filter output. So again, I specified the column that I wanted my rows to begin at in this case. This example shows how many visitors a variety of locations for a certain business received on different days of the week. And so let's say that we want to filter this data horizontally so that we can see only Saturdays. We want to see how many visitors come on each Saturday. So what we're going to do is begin our filter function in cell C11 by typing equals filter parentheses C1 colon 8, comma, C1, colon 1, equals, quotation mark, Saturday, quotation mark. And then I'm going to press enter, and Google Sheets is now showing us only the columns that say Saturday. When you're using text as the criteria for your filter function, the text has to go inside of quotation marks. So again, we've told Google Sheets to filter rows one through eight, where row one equals the text Saturday. So this example has the same source data as the last example, but we're gonna do something different, and we're going to use a cell reference as our criteria. So we're going to filter the data in rows one through eight horizontally, where row two is greater than 1,200. But instead of manually typing the number 1,200 into the formula, we're going to enter the number 1,200 into a cell here in cell B10 and use this cell address, B10, as the criteria for our filter function. So I'm clicking on cell C10, and then I'm going to type equals filter parentheses C1 colon 8 comma C2 colon 2 greater than and again, instead of typing the number 1200 into the formula directly like this, which you can do if you want, I'm going to type B10 to refer to cell B10. Then I'm going to press enter. And now Google Sheets is showing us only the days that had more than 1200 visitors total. And our filter function is referring to cell B10 as the criteria. And so if we change the value in cell B10, this will affect the filter function automatically. And so if I change 1200 
to 1000, our filter results show a lot more days because we're now including any days that had more than 1000 visitors. So if you want to learn more about using the filter function, I've linked the article for this video below.